Exploring Welding in Creo Parametric. In this demonstration, we will explore the welding application in Creo Parametric, including weld rod material and parameters, weld processes, and weld features. Finally, we will create a fillet weld. Let's take a look at the welding application in Creo Parametric. To be able to access the weld functionality, we need to have an existing assembly open. For this demonstration, we have weldassembly.asm open. In the ribbon, select the Applications tab and click Welding from the Engineering group. The Welding tab opens in the ribbon. We will configure our model tree to show features and suppressed objects. Since features are now displayed in the model tree, we can see we have a welding rod listed. If we right-click the rod name and select Edit Definition, the Weld Materials dialog box displays. This dialog box shows the defined rod parameters. The same dialog box can be opened from the Setup group by clicking Weld Material. The Weld Processes dialog box is also accessed from the Setup group. This is where we can create new weld processes and modify parameters of existing weld processes. Some of these defined parameters include Specification Number, Machine Type, Treatment, Feed Rate, Max Allowed Length, Min Allowed Length, max root opening, and min root opening. We can also add user-defined parameters for the weld process and filter by the types as shown. Weld preferences can be reviewed and modified by clicking Preferences from the Setup group. The weld types are listed on the left in the dialog box, while more specific information for weld types is shown in the tabs. For example, if we select the fillet weld type and click the intermittent tab, we can enable the intermittent function, modify the number of welds, Select the Start From and modify the length of the intermittent weld. Weld preferences for weld standards can be changed at the top of the dialog box. To set the Global Weld Standard, click the Setup Group drop-down menu and select Weld Standards. We will now explore some of the weld types. From the Insert group, you can select from various weld features. For example, Fillet Weld, Groove Weld, which includes Square Groove, Bevel Groove, V, J, and U Groove type welds, Flare Bevel Groove, and Flare V Groove, Plug Slot Weld, and Spot Weld. We can also access all weld features by clicking Weld Wizard from the Insert group. The Weld Definition dialog box opens. Areas of the Weld Definition dialog box include Feature, Combination, and Weld Feature. If we enable Edge Prep from the Feature area, the dialog box expands and includes an Edge Preparation area. The same happens if we enable the Notch feature. Let's now create a fillet type weld with a notch. We will create a weld at the base of the cylindrical tube and flat plate. Click Weld Wizard from the Insert group and enable the Notch feature. 
click Fillet for the Weld feature and Round Corner Notch for the Notch feature. We will create a half inch notch in the four gussets where the tube, base plate, and gussets meet. Click OK from the Weld Definition dialog box. The Fillet Weld Dashboard opens as a new tab in the ribbon. Select the top surface of the base plate as the first reference for our fillet weld. Select the Location tab in the Fillet Weld Dashboard. Click in the Side 2 collector to activate it. Press Control and select both outer surfaces of the tube. Click Apply from the Dashboard. The Fillet Weld feature is created. But since we enabled the Notch feature when specifying the weld definition, the Intersected Components dialog box appears. Click Auto Add and the four gussets are added. Click OK. All other elements were already defined in the Assembly Weld Notch dialog box, so we will click OK. The Weld Definition dialog box reappears to create another weld feature. Click Cancel and we will take a look at the notch created for our fillet weld. This notch is not the correct profile we were looking for, so we will edit the definition of the Assembly Weld notch from the model tree. Select the trajectory element and click Define. We will use the Select Trajectory option from the Menu Manager. Select both bottom edges of the tube and click Done from the Menu Manager. Click OK from the Assembly Weld Notch dialog box. The notch profile is now correct. This completes the demonstration.